Hey, this is Dave from Not Too Ancient Chinese Secrets, and I'm back with another review. And this time, I wanted to scratch my own itch. And what I was looking for was the best ultra portable keyboard so that I can write more stuff for this blog right here and do work while I'm on the road, no matter where I find myself. So I narrowed it down to two different keyboards. The first one is the Logitech K480. Very catchy name, K480, not really. Now, the other one was the Logitech Keys to Go. And like its name suggests, it's really nice and portable and really easy to take with you anywhere you are. Now, spoiler alert, I will end up keeping the Keys to Go, but we're gonna take a look at the pros and cons of both these models and why the Keys to Go won over. So first of all, why was I looking for a keyboard anyways? Well, I've been finding myself carting around the kids a lot this year, whether it's to the outdoor rink or to volleyball practice or ball hockey, etc. I found myself waiting around a lot. And so I wanted to be able to have a keyboard so I could just have my smartphone and be able to work anywhere that life found me. And Three requirements for what I was looking for. One, I wanted to be able to touch type. So instead of thumbing around on my smartphone, I wanted to be able to touch type on a keyboard. The second thing, I needed to be portable. So at least throw it in my bag and go without thinking about it or at much hassle. And the third thing, I wanted it to be lap worthy. And so I could just tap without a table or anything. So in the privacy of my car or on the bleachers, I could type. So after reading a ton of reviews and looking on the web, I decided to order both of these and give them a go and see which one would actually work best for my scenario. First of all, let's look at the loser, the K480. And I shouldn't really say loser, loser, because I really wanted to love this keyboard. And one of the best things about it was the integrated stand. And it's got this little crevasse here, and it fits most smartphones right in there. You can also put a tablet and the smartphone in there and it holds it at a great angle for either tabletop use or for laptop use. Even when you're quite a bit higher, you can see very well on the smartphone. And I loved that. Now there's a few compromises to make it so that it's well balanced and it won't tip over when there's a tablet on there. This weighs quite a bit. It's almost two pounds in weight. But what you get is a perfect lap worthy, table worthy typing surface right out of the box. I love it. The other thing I really like about the K480 is its ability to pair with three different Bluetooth devices. And it's as simple as just rotating a knob to switch between different devices. Whether you're on your smartphone, tablet, or your full-size computer, you can control all of them and type on all of them with this one keyboard. It's got standard size keys with a standard layout, so it's definitely touch typable as well. So you're thinking to yourself, Dave, sounds like you love this keyboard. And you're right, there's a lot going for it, and I almost kept it, but it's got one big Achilles heel, and that is its noisy, clacky keys. Ugh. I could live with the bulk. I could live with the fact that it is, you know, quite a bit heavier than the keys to go, but the one deal killer is its noise. It sounds like you're tap dancing on a tin can whenever you're typing on this thing. So it's going to be definitely not going to be useful in quiet coffee shops. You can't use this in the library, so poor students will not want to use this beast. But really, I wish that they would just replace the keyboard and it would have a great place in my bag. Now we're going to turn our attention to the keys to go. And this thing is just tiny. It weighs less than half a pound. It's just a little bit thicker than a binder cover. And it's got this weird felt texture that makes it spill proof too. Well, you don't want to spill into this part here, the charging port. So definitely be careful there. But the rest of the surface, really good for coffee shops. But up. Another difference between the Keys to Go and the Logitech K480 is that this one is rechargeable via a micro USB cable, whereas the K480 takes two AAA batteries. Now, the AAA batteries last a long, long time. Logitech claims months, but I prefer to use the micro USB because A, I always carry a battery pack with me, especially if I'm wanting to work in my bag. I also love the fact that it's so thin. And of course, if you're going to shove standard batteries in here, you're going to have to bulk it up. Now, here's the killer feature that makes the keys to go the winner, and that is it's near silent typing. Listen to this. Okay, you can hear that, but listen to this. That's cray, man. Okay, so the keys to go is our winner, but it's not perfect. 
One of the things that I really didn't like about it was the included stand for your smartphone. Now this just friction fits by pushing it onto the back edge, but the problem with it is the fact that your smartphone rests way too upright. And unless you're a squirrel who is staring at it from this angle, it is the wrong angle to type on your tabletop or worse, on your lap. Now you contrast this with the K480's excellent angle, then you really see a difference and you want, we really want to use this one on your lap versus the keys to go, no bueno. The second thing that you have to get used to is one, the key travel is quite shallow compared to the depth of a regular keyboard, and two, it is a cramped layout. If you take a look here, and if I line up the Z for you here, you'll take a look that the M ends up over here. So you'll notice that even though they're full size keys on the keys to go, that it is squished together. And that means you're going to have to adjust to touch typing on the keys to go. But of course they did this so that you can carry this anywhere. It makes it much more portable, but again, you got to figure out, Hey, is this going to be useful for me? So test it out for sure to see if you can type on this guy. So though I really wanted to love the K480 and it's got a lot of positives going for it. The keys to go is the winner for me. Links are in the show notes and just a warning, there are two different versions of the keys to go. It comes in a flavor for Mac and another one for Windows and Android users. So be warned to check out the link so you don't order the wrong one. And like always, for the latest updates and more video goodness, check out the blog at Not So Ancient Chinese Secrets. Thanks for watching, God bless, and happy writing.